Hello friends, welcome to the Winners Capsule YouTube channel. If this is the first time you are viewing my channel, then here is a short about it. This channel is focusing on making your day-to-day -day studies easy through simple videos on various topics for all classes under SSCRT and CBSE syllabuses. Hope this will be helpful for you to win at studies. All the very best. Please do support this channel with likes and subscription. If you like my channel, please share it with your friends. Welcome to the lecture series of 8 standard physics classes. In this session, I will be discussing the speed and velocity. Let me discuss the concept on speed and velocity separately. Finally, we can have a comparison between speed and velocity. Consider you are at this particular position. You are here. And uh, your home is locating at this particular position. Let me ask one question. You will be travelling from A to C. A is below to your present position and C is your house. Let me know what is the total distance. Can you able to tell me the distance? Can you ca calculate the distance? The distance means AB plus uh, BC. Correct, no? So, 30 plus 25. So, please clarify it. 30 plus 25 meters. 30 plus 25. How much it is? 55, no? 55 meter. It is very clear. Actually, uh, in order to travel from A to C, your current present position to uh, your house, at least 10 seconds required. Time taken to travel. So, time taken. Let me write this. Time taken. Time taken to travel from A to C, A to C. That is equal to uh, 10 seconds. I require only 10 seconds. Okay. So, write it as seconds. 10 seconds. Let me know what about the speed. How about the speed? How to calculate the speed? So, it is very simple. The speed can be calculated by using the formula. Speed is equal to. So, total distance. What is the total distance? A, B plus B, C. Which I have written all the, already. So, total distance. Correct. Total distance. Distance divided by. Time, total time taken. So, what is the total distance? The total distance is 55, right? 55 meter. 55 meter. 55 meter. That is covered within how many seconds? Within 10 seconds, you will be reaching the destination. So, let me write it as 10 seconds. Can you divide it? So, 55 divided by 10. What is the answer? 5. See, it is very, very clearly you can able to mention. How much it is? It will be 5.5. But uh, don't forget to write the unit. See, what is the unit of speed? Unit of speed will be meter divided by what is the unit of time? Standard unit of time. SI unit of time will be second. So, what is the speed? The speed is equal to uh, how much? 5.5 meter per second. That means per second. Per second, uh, the person, suppose you are the person, okay, per second you will be covering 5.5 meter per second. One second you are going to cover 5.5 meter. Two seconds, 11. Likewise, it goes on. I think it is very clear. Okay, so it is a per unit, per unit. We will call it as per unit. Okay, so one second you are going to cover. What is the meaning of this 5.5 meter per second? Let me ask one question. What is the meaning of this? The thing is, for one second you are going to cover 5.5 meter. Hope the concept is clear to you. Okay. Now let me discuss the definition. So look at this. What is actually the speed? See, the rate at which an object uh, covers a certain distance is known as speed. It is a scalar quantity. It is having only magnitude, no direction. Remember, speed will always have positive values. Speed is the ratio of distance to the time. The unit is meter per second. Okay, so these are the fundamentals about the speed. Now, let me ask one question. What do we mean by velocity? We will be familiar in one more terminology. What is velocity? Now, consider your present position. You are in at a certain position. Look at this. You are at A, position A. This is your current position. You want to travel at C. Okay, here, which is the straight line path? Of course, the straight line path will be A to C. Correct, no? 
straight line path that means a to c that is equal to 45 meter so let me consider displacement so what is the displacement here the displacement is equal to dis spelling you have to be careful okay displacement is equal to how much it is a straight line distance and the shortest distance from final position to the initial position or straight line distance it is having both the magnitude and direction so what what is the displacement displacement must be 45 meter okay 45 meter here in order to cover uh, from a to c is the car takes 9 seconds okay so time is equal to time taken 9 seconds is the time taken so time taken time taken from time taken from uh, a to c that is equal to only 9 seconds so let me know how to calculate the velo velocity the velocity velocity that is equal to the ratio between displacement and the time okay displacement and the time let me know what is the value of displacement here so displacement is equal to how much 45 meter 45 meter what is the time time taken time taken will be only 9 seconds so 45 by 9 so it will be 5 so what is the unit tell me the unit numerator it is meter denominator or seconds obviously it will be surely it will be 5 meter per second hope you have got the point so here the thing is displacement is equal to 5 meter per second here displacement will be always having both magnitude and direction therefore displacement is a vector quantity and also displacement will be sometimes zero sometimes negative and positive so that is another speciality so velocity can be defined as c velocity velocity can be defined as the rate at which the object changes the position in a certain direction okay uh, it is a ratio of displacement to the time it is a vector quantity velocity can be positive c zero and negative even displacement also will be positive zero and negative the unit will be meter per second same that of speed but the speed is a scalar quantity velocity is a vector quantity so velocity can be calculated by using the formula it is a ratio of displacement to the time so this is actually uh, the idea about velocity and the displacement i hope you have understood the difference between velocity and displacement so whenever you consider velocity you have to take care about uh, displacement if you talk about speed you have to consider about distance so velocity is a vector quantity distance is a scalar quantity so what is the meaning of uh, here we found that uh, velocity is equal to how much 5 meter per second that is a velocity what does it mean one second you are going to maintain the velocity is equal to how much 5 you are going to cover the velocity 5 per uh, second that's the meaning okay hope you have understood uh, if you are having any queries you can put up in the comment box let me continue the remaining portion in the upcoming session so happy learning thank you again